everyone, so today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's a very warm, folly type of look. You could totally wear this to Thanksgiving if you just want to be extra glamorous. Um, this right here, I know people are going to wonder because it's not normally here. Ignore the swatches on my hand. Um, you will see shortly why that is there. Um, I just kind of made it there. But um, yeah, this is the look that I came up with today, so if you like it and want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. Starting with primer, this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser, and I mainly just use this in the center of my face where I have larger pores. It's just kind of a more affordable option from the drugstore versus like the um, Benefit Pore Professional. I'm just applying it right kind of where I have larger pores around like this nose cheek area mainly just in the center and then I'll just kind of take whatever's left and spread it on the rest of my face then for foundation I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation this is also from the drugstore and I just like this one because it's really high coverage and I need a lot of coverage um, if you don't need so much you can definitely use something lighter I just I don't like necessarily full coverage all the time just for like the feeling of it. Um, not that this one feels heavy, but I just need it to cover up a lot of imperfections. But if you're blessed with good skin, um, I would recommend like the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. That one's really light. It just doesn't have as thick of a consistency as this one. So I'm just pouncing that in with my damp beauty blender this just gives me the best coverage as you can see that massive spot right there it's not really going to cover all the way because it is raised off of my skin but we will just cover it the best we can also if you'll notice the edge of my face is like pink that's because I just recolored my hair and I do it myself and I'm super messy and I have like colored hairline for like a week after I do it so don't judge that's just what happened and then I can kind of go in and just like add a little more coverage where I need it I don't have to do you know a second layer on my whole face just in the really bad areas Okay, so as you can see, like, it covers up the color, but it can't do anything about the, like, raised quality of it. That's just something that I have to deal with. So after that, I'm going to go in with concealer, and this is a really thick concealer also. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And then again, blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Then to set my concealer, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm just going to mix all three of these shades, the whitish one, the yellow one, and the peachy one. And I also use that concealer on my lids as like a primer. So I'm just going to make sure I set that too. I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I know not everyone sets their whole face, they just set like their concealer, but it drives me crazy to not set my whole face. I hate that like sticky feeling, plus um, 
It just helps all of your other powder products blend a lot easier because they're blending with a powder as opposed to like if you didn't set it and it had like a sticky foundation then it would like stick in more places than others and it just wouldn't blend very well. So I prefer to set my whole face. Look at that. That is just oh, so ugly. Okay, so now I'm moving into eyes and I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. This palette's been super popular. It's super affordable. It has all of these nice neutral and warm shades. So I am going to do like some orangey kind of look. I just feel like with fall and it's almost Thanksgiving, you totally wear this to Thanksgiving if you want to be like, you know, a little extra. So I'm going to start with so I'm going to start by mixing these two shades right here. I'm just going to point to them because this palette doesn't have any names. And I'm mixing those together on a Morphe M441. It's just a fluffy brush like this. And I am going to start to work that into the crease. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of this like bright orange right up here, just a tiny, tiny bit on that same brush, just to make it like extra orange. And I'm using that same brush, but I'm trying not to take it quite as high. I just want to use this bigger brush just to disperse the color more lightly. So you can see it just makes it a little bit more warm and deep. And I really hope that you guys can like see what I'm doing okay because when I do my makeup normally on my own, I'm like really close to the mirror. But if I were to do that, like no one could see what I was doing. So I'm trying to figure out like the best angles and lighting and all that setup. Um, so I apologize if like I get out of frame or sometimes it turns out looking like complete shit because I'm just like too far away from my mirror, can't see what I'm doing. So I promise I'm really not bad <laughs> at makeup. I just am bad at trying to figure out how to film it, but I'm trying, I'm messing with stuff all the time to try to figure out the best setup so that I can see and you guys can see. So um, bear with me on that. I'm trying to get it all figured out the best I can. Okay, so then I'm switching brushes. This is the Morphe M433. It's just a little bit more dense and tapered. And I'm going to take a little bit of this color right here. It's more of a reddish orange. And I'm just going to start working that into the crease to add a little bit more depth. And this brush is going to get it a little bit more precise so it's not going to go up quite as high. So it'll really start to carve out that socket. So back to the trying to, you know, film the best I can. If those of you watching this could give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and your family and subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free. It just notifies you whenever I upload a video. I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to slowly but surely grow and improve my channel. I have almost hit my first milestone of 100 subscribers, which is nothing I know compared to the big YouTubers that have hundreds of thousands or millions, but you gotta start somewhere, you know, they start at the bottom, so I am slowly working my way up, trying to improve little by little, so if those of you watching could help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. You could also leave any, um, comments below for um, video suggestions that you want me to do because it is hard to come up with different ideas all the time. 
and obviously I want to put out what you guys want to see so if you guys could throw out an idea here and there I would really appreciate it I'm just going back in with that first blending brush just to kind of help diffuse the color a little bit as you can see we're kind of adding a little bit of a gradient of dimension here okay so then I'm moving to an even smaller brush this is the Morphe M506 it is a fluffy brush but it's just really small and I'm going to take this like red brown color right here and I'm going to go again into the crease but I'm going to start by focusing it on the very outermost part and slowly work my way in and then go back with the smaller tapered fluffy brush just very lightly kind of go over it along the edges just to blend it a little bit. We don't want to blend it out too much because we want to leave that dimension in there but we don't want any harsh lines either so just ever so slightly just the, the lower you hold the brush the lighter your pressure will be and it'll just get a nice soft blend as opposed to like if you hold it up here it's going to be really tight and like dense more for like packing or precise application so just very lightly and again hopefully you guys can like see what I'm doing you have an okay angle I try to not look at the monitor like a hundred times because I'm sure that's like super annoying going back and forth because I have my mirror now and then my monitor and I try not to do that but I want to make sure that I don't go through a whole video with you guys not being able to see what I'm doing so like I said bear with me I am trying to get it all figured out by myself here and it's just now starting to rain so if you hear something in the background that's probably what it is it's supposed to rain all day today and today is also the first day of shotgun season if any of you out there have or know someone that's big into um, deer hunting here in the Midwest it's a big thing so today's the first day of shotgun and like I said it's supposed to rain all day long but um, my husband is a big hunter so he is gone for the whole weekend so hopefully he's not like caught out in the rain but if you know the diehard hunters they don't care they will be out there anyway so yeah, that's that's what's going on here in the Midwest. It's raining and it's deer season. So, you know, comment below if you are also in the Midwest or you know anyone that's big into deer hunting or you're into deer hunting. Just be fun to kind of see where everyone else is at and what they're doing. So I'm just blending everything out so that there are no harsh lines. I'm into that big fluffy brush again. Okay, so then I'm taking a flat brush and that um, last red-brown shade that we just used. And I'm making a massive mess on my face already, so that's awesome. But I'm just going to press that all over my lid. And let me just sweep away that mess before it really sticks. That's also another reason to um, set your under eye before you do your face makeup. Just so that it doesn't stick right onto that concealer because then you're never going to get it off. So, it's kind of brushing that away using a little bit more powder. Better do it on this eye too, just in case. Okay, so back to what I was doing, just packing that all over my lid. Okay, so now that the lid color's on, you can kind of see how the um, 
color in the crease, it doesn't add quite as much dimension because it is kind of blending with the lid color, obviously, because it's the same color. So I'm going to go in with this dark brown right here in the middle of the bottom of the palette and a small little fluffy brush. And I'm just going to run that through the crease. It's just a little bit darker than the lid color, so it's going to add that dimension back in. Just kind of windshield wiper motions in the crease. And then of course go in and blend it out. So I'm going to take that fluffy brush and a little bit of that bright orange and just kind of add that right above the crease just to bring some of it back in because I feel like it got blended away a little bit. And I'll just take a little bit of like a peachy flesh tone shade from the palette and just kind of go along the edges just to kind of start softening and blending it out so it's not just a bright orange and then it just like stops. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the lower lash line, and do, do, do. I'm going to start with a flat definer brush, like this. I'm going to go in with the bright orange, and just go all the way across my lash line. Okay, so my camera stopped recording because my card was full, but I was saying I just picked up that more red-orange, and I'm doing the same thing, and I'm just bringing it down a little bit. It's easier to do it with this brush with more um, potent colors like the ones that I'm using, just so that it doesn't get too out of control. You can just slightly drag it down, apply it more precisely, and then go in with like a fluffier brush like this and blend it down a little bit further and then taking that red brown shade just gonna apply that more closely to the lash line and then some of that dark brown okay so then I'm just gonna take a flat shadow brush and that first cream shade from the palette and I'm just going to apply that under my brow. Okay, so then I'm just going to take that flat definer brush and that darkest shade, and I'm just going to smudge it at the base of my lashes, just so that our lashes look a little bit more like dense and full, and also kind of help blend our falsies in. If you're going to be wearing falsies, you totally don't have to. This just adds a little more depth and dimension again. Okay, so then I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I'm going to apply some falsies off camera. And I'm using the Salon Perfect 614. They look like this. They're kind of like the Ardell Demi Wispies. You can get these at the drugstore. So I'm just going to do that and also fill in my brows. And I will be right back okay so I have my lashes on my brows are done and I feel like the camera is kind of playing me again with this lighting thing because my brows look okay in person but on camera I feel like not so much but whatever okay so then I'm going to finish off the eyes with this pencil right here it is what is it Jack is the shade name it's just like this goldy pencil from the balm I'm just going to line my lower waterline with that. Just something different than the standard like brown or black. But you can totally use those if you want or if you don't have a pencil like this. Okay, so the eyes are done. Let's move on to the face. I'm using the Shade and Light palette again and I'm just going to use a mixture of these two lighter shades to kind of warm up contour slash bronze the face and then I'm just going to contour with that cooler shade from the same palette So 
Now for blush, I'm going to use this Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use the middle one right there. Hello, monitor. Um, this middle one right here is called Amaretto. But since I have the palette out, I'm just going to go ahead and use these highlight shades. This is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. So I'm just going to take some of Champagne Pop and apply that to the tops of my cheeks. And I'm just going to hit a little bit on my nose. I'm also going to take a little brush and just pop that under the brow bone also just to kind of like connect it to the cheek highlight and also on the inner corners. I'm going to mix in a little bit of Prosecco pop for the inner corners too, just because it's a little more gold. Okay, so obviously we got a little something, something different on our face here. I just could not take it anymore. It was just like staring at me. So I figured it's there. I'm just going to work with it. So I went like Cindy Crawford style and just literally used a pencil brush and some brown eyeshadow and just made it, just made it a beauty mark. So you got to work with what you got. So now I'm moving on to lips and I'm lining with Cork from MAC, the brown lip pencil. So then I'm going to fill it in with this ColourPop, uh, what is this, Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Limbo. Again, it is a brown. And then I'm going to go over it with this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Button. And it's just like a peachy orange kind of color. Just to kind of soften up a little bit because I didn't really have like a color that I wanted to use like I've used this brown so many times and I don't want something this bold but I don't want something this light so hopefully by mixing the two we will get a better color okay so that completes this look I really hope you guys enjoyed it it's very warm and smoky perfect for the fall season that we are currently in so if you did like it please be sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't already it's totally free it just notifies you whenever i upload a video and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye